Keep yourself updated. Subscribe to Vedanta and click bell icon. Hi friends, now in this video, we're going to understand that how to create a charts in Microsoft Excel application. See here, instead of understanding a table is data, it is easy to understand the data when it is converted into charts. Is it clear? So let us start by understanding pie charts. So here in, a, in any data, if the output result is having more than one range, then we cannot use pie charts. If you want to use pie charts, the data should be the output, the result should be in a single column. Is it clear? If you have more than one column not data, then you please use the bar charts or the columnar charts, by, but not pie charts. So first we have a we have a output data which is available only in a single column. So we are going to play the pie charts. It's very simple. Simply uh, select the data. And one more thing, uh, to insert uh, default charts, simply uh, select the data and press Alt plus F1. Alt plus F1 is a shortcut key to import a default chart. If your default chart is a columnar chart, if you press Alt F1 system import columnar chart. If your default chart is a bar chart, system imports the bar chart. So I'm just going to undo this, undo, I'll just, we'll just discuss how to work with the pie charts in this video. So simply for what is the pre-requirement? We need only one column as an input to show a pie charts. So simply, these are all the labor, this is the, the data is available only in one column and these are all the labels so the labels will not be considered as data so there is only a one table that the data is available only in one column in that case only we can access pie charts simply uh, select the data including labels but system understand only these values as data and this, uh, these are all as the uh, labels simply select the data and go to insert menu from the insert menu toolbar you can access there is an option called as the, the pie charts is available insert pie chart so simply click on the handler there you can see this is the basic pie chart and this is the 3d pie chart and this is the dot not pie chart i'm going to insert a 3d pie chart which is look goods and simply click on the chart automatically the selected data has been converted into a pie chart is it clear and before that we understand the chart elements first the chart elements are you may see that this is the chart title and this is known as actually a chart title and this is the plot area and these are all the the uh, result uh, charts and this are all the this, this is actually called as the legends legend entries uh, which are all the uh, labels and the details this is the title and this is the chart the pie chart uh, the data series is it clear and this are, and see by clicking on plus sign we can do some modification if you want if you like to customize this uh, uh, this pie chart uh, very simple just click on disable now here we cannot understand now it is just go see when you move cursor up upon the chart it is going to display some value that is around one lakh seventy thousand. But if you want to display the values within the charts, then simply uh, simply enable the data label. So whenever you enable the data label, system is going to display the figures within the chart. And if you want to remove them, simply uh, disable this and uh, simply disable this. And if you want to remove this quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, simply go to the plus sign and uncheck the uh, laser. Then automatically those are removed that's it and if you want to get back the same simply get back and now this time it is these are all coming in the right side so simply if you want to make more changes here you can see whether you like to get the right side or in top or in left or in bottom right so that is your choice see how when you click when you uh, click on the chart area it is going to display a design function that exclusive for chart tools chart design and chart format if you click somewhere else the the tabs goes away to to get the uh, uh, to get the design or format you need to click on the chart and very simple and here we are going to discuss some more advanced feature in the pie chart very simple if you wanted to uh, get the first we enable this data so data labels are enabled yes and simply uh, double click on the chart area double click on the chart area in order to access the uh, format plot here see here i'm not asking you do not double click on the chart title area if you click on 
chart title area it is going to display as format chart area but we are not going to format chart area we are going to format float area so double click on next to the chart so here within the box then you can see that the format plot area exactly and here just close this and here you can see that plot area option the color fillers here i'm going to select if you wanted to change this color of this uh, these then simply select the cell double click on it now you can see that when you click for once i'll just say once again if you once click on the chart you may see that now all the all the uh, uh, all the charts are selected when you double click on any one then that respect to respect to chart has been selected now you may fill a solid color i'm going to change the color as a red yes now the color has been changed right once again i repeat if you once click on chart area you are going to access chart area format tools if you once double click on plot area you you are going to access the plot area tools is it clear and you may see that in the within the plot area there is no color if you want to fill a color then click on solid color i'm going to fill this with the uh, a green color right and this is the a uh, chart area if you want to fill this chart area double click on the chart area then again solid color i'm going to fill a color with the uh, is a blue you see you do understand i'm requesting once again this is the chart area and this is the chart title and this is a plot area and these are all the individual cells and again i'm going to show one more thing that is if you want to move the slide simply double click and click on the uh, series option so whenever you click on the series option once again i repeat you just you do not double click on chart area please double click on plot area double click on plot area and select any one ag again and, and again click on chart to select all charts right and not selecting individual chart if you once click on any individual chart the individual chart will be selected so you do one thing first click away click on plot area and select chart now this time the total chart has been selected in should you may you might see the dots are uh, visible in all for the all charts then you go to the format data series here you can see series options so here if you move if you wanted to move uh, if you want to for example i would like to show this 10500 then simply click on see here now you may observe the the angle of the uh, of the chart is going to uh, display and again if you want to exp uh, if you want to expose them simply uh, use the down one so this is how we are going to divide it and this is used to to roll the chart yes not only in this way i'm just getting them back so they are coming back not only in this way simply double click it and simply drag it to make to divide the charts yes so this is how simple it is is it clear yes, in, the in the next video we understand the bar charts and column charts thank you thanks for watching keep yourself updated subscribe to vedanta and click bell icon